Hi, this is Mandy from Sunflowers and Doors. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today we are doing day four of the uh, 31 tags in 31 days for July. Um, there are two separate um, giveaways running for this um, this kind of event. One of them in, is in our Facebook group, which is John Journal Ideas and Inspiration. Um, and the second one is um, part of the YouTube uh, channel giveaway. So all of the details will be in the box below um, and you can pop over to the first video um, in the playlist uh, which again I will link below just so that you have um, a sight of what the, the prizes are. So um, I'm not going to give a long-winded introduction and my desk is messy as always um, but today we are going to do um, an acetate tag. We have already done a paper bag tag, a notebook tag, a fabric tag and today we are going to do an acetate tag. Now this is partially inspired by um, some recent tags that Tracy Fox did um, and they were fabulous. What you're going to need for this is some acetate. If you haven't got it, you can get some of the clear packaging stuff that comes on some of the boxes and whatever. Um, and there's loads of different variations with this. I'm just going to do a really basic, simple version. Um, and yeah, we'll go with that. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to cut my acetate down to tag sizes, which is going to be three by six. And I'm going to cut three pieces at the moment. Uh, three by six. And then two of these pieces, I'm going to cut them down. So we have got our six inches, which is probably about there. Yeah, it's about there. I didn't actually need that third one, so that's okay. I'm going to pop those in there so I can actually see where they are. They said they're the quickest thing to lose on my table. So I've got two here, which are roughly six by three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the tag corners off these. So we have got a tag shape. Daisy, with that, two tag shapes, acetates. What I'm going to do for the inside of these, I am going to just put, I've cut out two of the tags from the kit um, and I folded them in half and I am going to add these to the inside of my acetate. Now what I would have done had I had them was added some dried daisies um, because I do absolutely love the uh, real flowers. You do have some problems <coughs> excuse me, when you are trying to stick things inside acetate. Um, so if you're going to go with real flowers you may need to consider doing something like um, um, using a little bit of um, what do you call it, washi tape. Uh, I know that's what Tracy did when she did her tag. I am not going to uh, do that. I am going to literally just attach a piece of this kit on the inside and hope for the best. So I'm just gluing those two tags together. So we've got a front and a back. Now you can either embellish them on the inside or the outside. I think I'm going to do mine on the inside just to keep it all um, nice and um, neat. Okay. Sorry, I don't know how much of this you can actually see. So that is what we're going to do. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold these with some clips. And I'm going to have to put the front on 
I'm going to have to try and stitch around this as carefully as I can. So I'm going to put these pegs on to try and keep everything in place while I do my stitching. Um, stitching around acetate isn't always the best um, option, but I'm going to go and have a go and see what it looks like. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've stitched around here. I'm just going to cut off this excess stitching. And we've got an acetate tag. I'm still going to put a hole in the top of this. And a um, eyelet. And then some ribbon. Now this obviously is purely decorative. Uh, what I have done before now is I've done the acetate tag um, like it was and I have um, attached the paper to the outside front and then put some backing paper to the outside back to allow you to a, a writing spot here. Um, the other thing you can do while you're doing your stitching, you could stitch on a little pocket with the leftover bits, which probably looks quite cool actually. Um, I probably should have done that and you can do that front and back to make it multi-purpose. Um, it's looking a little bit uh, bare down the bottom. So I think I am going to add another quick, um, I'm going to add another quick tag to the front. Well, we'll see what it looks like anyway. Now I like that, I think, but if I do that, I've got to be aware that it's going to show through on the other side, um, or I put another piece on the back, same size, just to cover that over. So I'm just going to put it on here for now, just to show you, and then if I want to cover the back, I can do that a little bit later on. So there is our acetate tag. Super, super simple. And as I said, I'm probably going to put a cover on that. Uh, and I wish I had put a pocket on the front of that. I can still stitch that in. It's just going to be a lot of stitching. Um, but it would have been really cool, I think, with a pocket on the front or the back, even to have added some extra space for some bits and pieces. So, yeah, probably do that next time. Um, but a super simple acetate tag I mean that took what minutes um, and it really is uh, a fun little place to put, uh, piece to put in your journals as either a, a bookmark or a tag um, so yeah hope you enjoyed that is it for today's um, tag and I will be back with you tomorrow for the next installment so until then as always stay safe and I will catch you soon bye for now